everyone. Welcome. I am Crystal. If you are new or a returning Yarny Cat, welcome. So today is the announcement of the Easter cow. Now that is for Flopsy the, the bunny and it is this little guy right here. And I designed this last year in 23 for my Aunt Dale when she was in the hospital. And so it has a uh, weight to it so it can sit on the edge of a shelf or, yeah. Anyway, so we are going to do a crochet along for Lopsy. It's going to be a three-part crochet along, so I will have dates. Um, and the supply list in the description box. So, um, also, there will be prizes. I will go over that in just a minute. But first, I want to give you all the supply list. And you should have about two weeks from now to gather all your supplies. Whether you have to order it or go to the store or whatever you may have to do. There are a few uh, things that you can substitute for a few of the things if you don't have. So, um, like I said, the supply list will also be in the uh, description box. Alright, so first, I am going to be using a three-weight yarn. You can use three-weight or a four-weight. It don't really matter. Um, you'll just have to use... Like each yarn label will say a recommended hook size. You'll just have to use one slightly smaller um, to make sure these stitches are tight enough. Now, normally for me, I use a four weight yarn and a four millimeter hook. Um, but it, it it's not too, too bad. Um, the tension on, on here. Now, just FYI, um, I do design my amigurumi in joined rounds. That's not to, to <laughs> traditional. Um, you can do it in continuous rounds if you feel more comfortable that way. Just make sure you have a stitch marker marking your first stitch uh, of the round. Um, or you can do it in joined rounds like me. It, it really don't matter. Um, I don't there's not too much like specialty uh, decreasing or anything like that. So it's not like going to affect the shaping. Um, so working in joined rounds or continuous rounds is fine. So a three weight yarn or a four weight, you'll need a four millimeter hook or corresponding to your, your uh, yarn weight. You will need a small piece of plastic canvas. If you cannot get canvas, cardboard would work too, because what it is, is a little piece will go on the inside to make it flat. You will also need three bags, and this is for the weight part, of little beans. Like, these bags are three inches by two inches. So, and you need about three ounces of beans or rice would work fine. Or if you wanted, you could do some little rocks in some bags. I mean, <laughs> anything to help weight the uh, amigurumi down. You will need a pair of the nine millimeter safety eyes. You will also need a nose and they come in various colors. You will need a yarn needle, scissors, stitch markers, and of course, polyfill, the stuffing. You will need a scrap piece of yarn or embroidery thread for the mouth. And the necklace, bead necklace is optional, but I will, it's all it is, is you uh, string some beads on and then tie it to where you can untie it. That's all you do. So I will show that on the tutorial. Okay, so the dates to save. If you need to, write these down. These will also be in the description box. All right, so part one is going to be 
the body and head. It's all one piece. You work from the bottom up, decrease, and then increase to get the head. Um, and that part will be March 3rd, part one. Sunday, March 10th is part two. So part two is the legs and the arms. Sunday, March 17th is part three, and it's the ears, the tail, and how to put it together. So the assembly. You can submit your pictures in between March 17th through the 30th to be entered into the giveaway portion. I will announce the winners on Easter, which is March 31st this year. This That's really uh, <laughs> odd, but I will also show a slideshow picture of everybody's finished Wopsies. So, um, you don't have to, if you're not going to take part in the giveaway portion, you don't have to send in a picture. If you want a chance to be entered into the giveaway portion, you have to submit an email saying that you're going to do the count plus a finished picture. So that's a two part. Just like my spider cow, you send an email signing up and then when you finish the bunny, you take a picture of it and you just send it in. All right, so prizes. I'm going to do this a little different than my spider cow. I'm going to choose five people. Fifth place, and this is not a judging contest. I, I promise it's not based on who's better. It's just a random draw of names. Fifth place will get three entries into April's giveaway. So um, everybody that wins will get an entry into April's giveaway. Um, but depending on how many entries. So fifth place gets three entries into April's giveaway plus two of my patterns from Ravelry. Fourth place will get four entries and three patterns. Third place will get five entries and a $10 Amazon gift card. And if you don't have Amazon, um, I can do PayPal. Second place will be eight entries into April's giveaway and a $20 Amazon gift card. First place will get 10 entries and a mystery package from me. So those are the prizes. And I'm very excited for my second crochet along. I I hope it goes well, and I hope y'all enjoy making Flopsy um, in time for Easter. So, yes, I'm going to be making mine in blue. I, uh, I told my aunt that we were doing a crochet along, and she's excited. So, all right, everyone, I believe that is it. That covers the dates, the prizes and the supplies you will need. So, if you plan to take part, make sure you send me an email. My email is listed in the description box. Alrighty, everyone. Well, thank you so much for watching, and uh, happy crocheting. I'll see y'all later. Bye, everyone.